Today I'm going to start a new lesson. I'm going to do two lessons at the same time because those two lessons are really easy and they are linked to each other. Lesson 1.3 and lesson 1.4. 1.3, the title is Solving Linear Equations. You know this from last year. That's why I'm going to do it quickly. And even the last uh, lesson, you know it also. How do we solve an equation? What does it mean, solve? Solving, it means I need to find x. So, you know, all the time to find x, we need to isolate x. And you need to put all constant on one side and keep x on the first side. So, first step, what we need to do here is I need to <coughs> move this 8 to the other side. When I move 8 plus 8 to the other side, it will become minus 8. So, what is 16 minus 8? So, it's 8. And then here, <coughs> I have 2 over 9x is equal to 8. We know that... Uh, normally, uh, the multiplication becomes division, and the division becomes multiplication. But if you really don't don't want to to do any mistake, as an advice, when you have like this, like this, I don't want to to do. Okay, it's two over nine times x. So here I'm gonna divide by two over nine, then I'm gonna flip it nine over two. No, don't do this mistake. So what do you need to do? This one, you can also write it. Here, this one, you can also write it 2x, isn't like this, over 9 is equal to 8. As an advice and as a teacher, if you don't want to do any mistake, equal to 8 means 8 over 1, cross multiply. When you cross multiply here, you will be safe and you will not do any mistake. This is an advice. So, then what do you do? Just, okay. So 2x is equal 8 times 9. And then I'll do the multiplication. 8 times 9 is what? What is 8 times 9? I will do it. So it's 72. I'm sorry. I'm going to continue. So I will have here 2x is equal 72. And then, then I know that now 2 times x, multiplication becomes division, and x will be equal to 72 over 2. And then I will have my final answer, x is equal to 36. So I'm going to repeat again. First, we're going to isolate the numbers. So plus 8 becomes minus 8. I think before they were telling you, okay, do minus f on both sides and then divide on both sides, multiply on both sides, but this is the faster method. So plus 8 becomes minus f on the other side. 16 minus 8, it's 8. Then you cross multiply, so you'll not do any mistake. You will have 2x is equal 8 times 9. Now 2x is equal to 72. x is equal to 72 over 2, so x is equal 36. Wait a little bit. If you didn't see what I was writing on the board, wait a little bit and you will see it later. Okay. Now another example. For example, I need to solve this expression, this big expression. 5 times x minus 2 is equal. First, I need to distribute and then I will isolate x. So I'm going to distribute first. So I will have 5 times x, 5x. Five, 5 times minus 2, it's minus 10. Minus 4 times 2x minus 8x, minus 4 times 7 minus 28, and plus x. Then we're going to do x on one side, the constant on the other side. So I will have 5x minus 10. First, you can simplify the minus 8x plus x is minus 7x. Then you isolate it if you want. So I will have 12x minus 10 equal to minus 28. From where I got the 12x, they took first the minus 7x to so the other side becomes plus 7x, 5x plus 7x, 12x. Then I'm going to move the 10 one more step. You can move it once, yani for example, directly. You move the minus 7x to the first side and minus 10 to the other side. So minus 28 plus 10, it becomes minus 18. And then x divided, we divide by 12. x will be equal to minus 18 over 12. And then I can simplify my answer. It's minus 3 over 2. I know that you know it from last year, but you need to review it quickly. Now, 
Solve the equation. 5 times x minus 4 equal to 5x plus 2. Also the same. Distribute. Isolate. What I got here? I got minus 20 equal to 12. So what should I write here? Is it possible? So doesn't make sense. So what does it mean? Answer, there is no solution here. So this is one of, of, is one of the special cases where there is no solution. Okay, when I'm solving it, I got something impossible. Even if you took the minus one to the other side, you will have, for example, 32 equal to zero. It's impossible. I can have also another special case, for example, here. After isolating and solving, I got what? Zero over zero. This is another special case. But here, is it right that zero is equal to zero? Yes. So what can I say about this? I'm going to say that this one makes sense, but there is the, no variable left. What does it mean? So we have how many solutions or real number are so or I can say infinite of solutions. Those two are really very special cases. Those two, the no solution and the or real number of solutions. This is the first lesson I've done. One. Let's go to 1.4 and it's always very easy. 1.4, it's rewriting equations and formulas. Some formulas, some specific formulas for the area, you're like gonna see it. General formulas, you're gonna write it on your uh, copybook. Area of a triangle, half time base times height, or base times height over two. B is the base, so H is the height. Area of a rectangle, you know what, length times width. Perimeter of a rectangle, two lengths plus two widths, or the perimeter of any shape, you add all the sides, okay? So the perimeter of any shape, what does it mean perimeter? I'm, I need to find the circumference, okay? So you add all the sides, and perimeter of a square, I add side plus side plus side plus side. It means four times side. Any shape that you have, you add all the sides to find the perimeter, except I keep the circle. Area of a trapezoid, it's half times base one plus base two times height, Okay. Or you can see base 1 plus base 2 times height over 2. You can see sometimes this formula. Here, here you can see for the rectang uh, rectangle 2 times length plus width. Also, it's right. And here, this one, you can sometimes see it like this. Base 1 plus, you can see it like this, plus base 2 times height, all of it times height. Over to this is another method to write it. Even here for the area of the triangle, you can see it like this base times height over two. Now, area of a circle, pi r squared. Okay, I'll write it like this. If you want pi, pi is 3.14. R squared, r is the radius squared as circumference of a circle it means the perimeter 2 pi r in 2 times pi times r times the radius that's it those are the formulas that you need to memorize all the time as i said and i'm saying all the time when you have a question you can directly ask me feel free to ask me all the time okay now i'm gonna go to the last part solve for a variable what does it mean solve for a variable for example here i have I need to solve 11x minus 4y is equal to minus 4. Solve for y. They said here for y. It means I want to see y is equal to y. So I need to isolate x in a part and y in a part. And I need to find the final answer y is equal to y. So I need to take everything to one part and leave y in one part. So how we got this answer, the final answer here, I'm going to show you how. I will write it, but let me check if it's written or not. Okay. So I'm going to write here first. So what sh should I do? Okay, I need y. So I will keep y in the first part. Minus 9y is equal minus 4 plus 11 over x. Okay? And then what we're going to do here? I need to divide by... I need to divide by the, the answer here is wrong. I need to divide here by y. Uh, sorry. I made a mistake, not them. Minus 11x. I'm so sorry. Okay. Minus 4y minus 11x. Okay. And then now minus 9 times. 
I need to divide by minus 9. So y is equal minus 4 minus 11x over minus 9. Okay, this minus here, I can put it here and then I'm going to change the sign of those two. So what will be my answer? y is equal to 11, 9 over, 11 over 9x plus 4 over 9. Let's see the second one. I want to solve for x. I need to find x is equal to what? The same. 7x is equal 8 plus 3y. And then I need to find x. What will be x? x is equal to 8 plus. I hope that you can see what I'm writing. I hope. Now sometimes it doesn't show. 3y over 7. Okay, let's move, that's it. And then this is my answer here, that's it, this is my final answer. I can write it this way or this way, it's the same. That's it, this is all the chapter. I'm going to wait a little bit to be sure that you're going to see what's written and then I will share it. That's it.